Hello and welcome everybody. This is Code Ward and today we are doing a basic tutorial on the XRPL DEX or decentralized exchange using both xrptoolkit.com and our SUM app. So without further ado, let's jump in and see how this works here. So the first thing we need to do is connect a wallet. Now you do have a number of options here to use, whether a ledger, Kobo, Descent, Zum, or you can also use an address and sign the transaction request. Today, we're gonna use Zum. Okay, so we're gonna go through and connect our Zum wallet here. And what you'll notice when we connect here is that it pops us up with a QR code. So the next thing we do is we jump into our Zum app and we hit the scan icon down in the bottom tray and we go through and scan the QR code, which will go through and push a push notification to our app. And I already have the app open, so I didn't get the notification, it just came right up. So I'm gonna accept the transaction request and sign it using my PIN. And there we go, we successfully signed the request, which has now allowed us to enter into our ZUM app and be able to view it through xrptoolkit.com. Now, you'll see here that I do have uh, 61 XRP and about a 1,100 casino coin. This is the new XRP-based casino coin, which is live. Uh, what we're waiting for currently on the swap is the official announcement, the detailed instructions on how to do the swap and so forth there. The other thing we're waiting on is um, 2.0, which is going to have the Casino Coin Wallet migration app. And with that, what it's basically going to do is take your existing Casino Coin Wallet and convert it into an XRP wallet. So if you don't already have some, I would strongly suggest waiting to download and set it up uh, until the swap is announced because otherwise if you set it up too soon and you create a wallet, the migration tool is gonna to end up creating you another wallet and essentially tying you up extra funds in reserve balances when it's kind of unnecessary. Although on the plus side, if you do already have ZOM, don't fret because it will, ZOM 2.0 will also have a account merge tool which this merge tool utilizes the XRPL's account delete function, which will essentially recover 15 out of 20 of the XRP for the account reserve, send that to another wallet. It does have to be a non-custodial wallet, so you can't send it to an exchange. Um, and so with that, once it sends it off, it actually deletes the unwanted wallet for you. So you don't end up tying up and having all these extra wallets lying around. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's jump in here and uh, take care of some trades and go over some brief explanations of how this all works. So much like any other wallet, XRP Toolkit allows our normal functions like send, receive, so we can go into send, we can put a destination, which is another wallet address, a destination tag if required, like if you're sending to an exchange, and the amount to send. If we do so, this will again, or this will send a, a signing request to your ZOM app, and you would sign it in ZOM, and everything would be transpired here, and you can see it happen live. Um, same with receive. So we can receive funds to our wallet here. Okay. And, but this isn't the focus of our tutorial today. What we're looking at today is trade. So now the first thing we want to take a look at here is our trading pair. So here we see XRP to USD. Now this is a little different than the exchanges that we'd see. Uh, usually you see uh, trading versus our base pair. So let's get that set first. So what we're gonna do is trade XRP versus CSC or casino coin. So again, if we look at uh, say Bitru up here, our trading pair is CSC to XRP. 
But in XRP Toolkit right now, we have XRP to CSC, which you'll notice actually has a weird uh, effect on things. And this can cause some newer users to get a little messed up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch our pair around so that we're trading CSC to XRP. Again, BitTrue, CSC to XRP. And so now if we look at the trading pair, our sell orders and our buy orders, this looks a little more similar to what we would see up here. Now, you'll also notice that the price is quite different. So the casino coin that's trading on BitTrue right now is the pre-swap casino coin that's running on the casino coin ledger. The casino coin that's trading on XRP toolkit and the DEX here is the post swap or the XRPL based casino coin. So the new CSC is live, although until the swap, the DEX here is lacking liquidity and we are seeing a higher spread here than what we would normally see on an exchange like uh, or BitTrue here, where you see here we have our spread at 21.29. 2147. So the spread is a lot different and a lot less than what we would see here, as is the price. So after the swap, we'll see things change a little bit more as more casino coin is added for liquidity and more people are starting to actively trade. Because once the swap takes place, the DEX here, as we see, is already live. So it will be live day one of the swap. Centralized exchanges, which uh, Daniel has announced that there's a couple already signed and more in the works, although names have not been announced yet. So we're waiting to still hear which centralized exchanges will be uh, trading casino coin in the future. Uh, those announcements, according to Discord, said that they should be coming within about three to five days of the swap going live. So. Let's wait and see what happens there. Uh, when it comes to uh, trading here on the DAX and centralized exchanges, a lot of the more experienced traders, you know what market trades and limit trades mean. Okay, but for the newcomers, we'll explain here. Market trading in simple terms just means I want a thousand casino coin. I don't care what it costs me. Just give me a thousand casino coin and take my XRP. In this case here, it's going to cost me about 11.22 XRP to get a thousand casino coin. Now, due to the spread and the lack of liquidity, uh, market trades are currently working at the moment. And we can see this if we try to place our buy order. That's going to send a push notification to Zone. And being that I have some already open here, there's the request coming in. And so that creates an offer or create. Now I'm gonna accept that offer and I'm gonna put in my pin, which signs the request for me. Now we see that transaction being submitted here. Now it failed, as I was mentioning, the spread and the lack of liquidity. I believe it's a security feature, don't quote me on that, but it's uh, preventing it so that um, we don't accidentally end up making trades that are too far out of the spread so that we don't end up getting shook for our coins. So what we're gonna focus on today is limit trading. So limit trading is saying, I want a thousand CSC, but I'm not gonna pay any more than what it shows or what I designate here. So today we're gonna look at the 0 0.0111 and we'll see that over here. So I'm actually going to reduce that here for this instance, and we're only going to buy 100 casino coin. So take note here, we have 79,900. All right, and now we'll just close off this little notification guy here. And so at this point, we're going to buy 100 casino coin. We're going to put in our offer create. There's the notification coming through to my sum. And now I'm reviewing the transaction, which says that basically I'm selling 1.11 XRP for 100 casino coin. In that case, it's 
0.0111 times 100 casino coin. So I'm going to accept that. I'm going to put in my PIN, signing that request. And there we go. So we've submitted the transaction. Please wait patiently and stand by. There we go. So our transaction has been succeeded or has succeeded. And as you can see here, we went from 79,800 or 79,900 down to 79,800. And if we look at our account, we went from 1,100 and one to 1,200 and one. So we'll go back to trade here. And again, we're gonna go to limit and conversely. So we're gonna go through and sell our 100 casino coin that we just bought. Now, at this moment, we're gonna say we're going to sell it for the 0 0.0055. And that's our highest buy order here, okay? So now on that point, I just paid 1.11 XRP for that 100 CSC, but I'm gonna sell it for 0.55. Now I am taking a loss, but this is just for tutorial purposes. So I'm gonna go through and place my sell order. And there's the request coming from through to my Zoom app. So I'm gonna pull up the transaction review. And that says I'm selling 100 CSC and in exchange, I'm gonna get 0.55 XRP. So I'm gonna accept that transaction. I'm gonna put in my PIN, signing the request, and there we go. So the transaction's been submitted and you'll see here it has succeeded. And that uh, buy order just went down by 100 as did our holdings of CSC. So that there is a basic buy and sell using limit trades. So hopefully this has helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and you can do so either by joining our Discord via casinocoin.chat or I am on Twitter as at CodeWord1.